for vaccinated passengers you have to go through different ways. <laughs> Welcome to Paris. Here's Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport and we're waiting for our flight uh, to go to Cagliari which leaves now it's been delayed again so we're lucky and all things comes in place really it's like someone is pushing the buttons not make us not to go uh, we're gonna talk about this trip so which we're going to uh, Sardinia uh, it's been a little bit messy so far um, I'm supposed to fly from Miami direct to Rome and then from Rome to Cagliari that flight was cancelled by Alitalia so with no explanation why and just cancel and that's it so then I battled to get my money back then I have to rebook the flight with Delta and uh, from Fort Lauderdale so now I gotta fly I flew from Fort Lauderdale to JFK and then from JFK I have to fly to Rome and from Rome I have to fly to Cagliari so I had an additional stop well that didn't go well either so we got to Fort Lauderdale and I saw my plane is getting delayed by 55 minutes which gives me very small time to catch the flight taken out of um, JFK and going to Rome and uh, I was a little concerned so I came and I see another flight goes to New York City and I asked the, uh, the person at the counter desk I was like can, can, we, can we grab that flight it's like three hours before our flight and the person is like no we're gonna have to do first of all to board the people and then after that we'll talk about it they, so I was waiting for boarding everybody else and then she said yep, nope we close we close the gate that's it it's like uh, it's really she didn't want to do anything about it she just took herself pretty much wait for your flight so deliberately she made me missing my flight the one the connecting flight in JFK because of my flight was delayed by six hours six hours so well, guess what what's the excuse first of all was excuse the weather in the meantime the flights were coming and they were taken off by all different airlines not not by Delta obviously so then uh, then after that they said so uh, the plane was diverted to Melbourne Florida then after that they don't know when the plane will will be arriving so here I am I don't know what the hell is going on I'm, I'm I hope my flight in in JFK is gonna get delayed as well and apparently uh, was not so anyway my flight did not even leave the Fort Lauderdale but the flight from JFK left of course they're not gonna wait for me so now we have a discussion they said okay we're gonna rebook you for the next day so now I lost the day so uh, and they said oh, why don't you come back again so uh, go home and then come back next day well I don't think so I want to do that because of next day is gonna happen the same thing it's it's this has been two times so I said no we're gonna fly to fl to New York so we flew to JFK <laughs> it was almost 1 30 in the morning and instead of being arriving there by 7 o'clock no 7 o'clock uh, three six o'clock so yeah so instead of uh, being there by six o'clock we arrived there uh, close to two o'clock in the morning then we have to stay in line because of these like four f five families five or six families were flying overseas and everyone gets screwed and everyone who's as a matter of fact asked for Delta to put us on that flight goes to New York earlier and they told us no so here we are we're at the airport now we're rebooking the flights and then after that what are we gonna stay it's it's after two o'clock in the morning so they gave us okay you go you go to the hotel so we finally got out we went to the hotel it's a plaza um, Crown Plaza hotel it's about two miles away from from JFK so we got to the hotel and, and the guy is going to ask us, where is your voucher? I was like, what voucher? Oh, they told us to, go, to come. And they, they said, go back to, to the airport 
and get the voucher. <laughs> so, so anyway, so by the time we, <laughs> we, we we got back and I said, and I'm pissed off and I'm trying to call uh, JFK. I'm in the room already. I'm trying to call JFK. I fell asleep. And the phone was working <laughs> and the phone came through almost five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> two hours and a half the waiting time we finally get someone else <laughs> the guy was very helpful <laughs> so so he helped us out to rebook the flight instead of flying to Rome <laughs> next uh, 24 hours later uh, he made us fly uh, six hours early it <laughs> didn't go well either so we flew to Paris oh my god I'm in Paris right now still waiting for my my other flight that flight has been delayed too <laughs> to Cagliari what the hell is going on? This is like a, <laughs> this is a concert. So now we in Paris for four freaking hours. But I want to tell you, if you're flying through Paris, you really need extra time. If you have one hour or one hour thirty minutes, you might gonna miss your flight because of these guys. They just don't give a shit. So they put you on the on, online to to even answer where to go where's my gate okay well we know the gate but the guy's like no you have to wait for me to give you answer i know my gate no you gotta wait then he checks my uh passport then he checks my um, um the boarding pass then he tells me go here uh then i'm going to stay in line and and you have to go through the checkpoint again now you gotta carry on <laughs> they open my carry on they go through all my clothes, underwear, checking everything else out. They they left me shit open, and and the guy's like, you can close your luggage yourself. I, just imagine how pissed off was I. You, you made me go through the shit. You looking through my freaking dirty, through my clean clothes. Now it's probably dirty with his hands, going through it, and uh, it's just ridiculous. Then he got all my cords. He checks my cords. He goes like, oh, t take your uh, take your lenses off from the camera. I was like, why would you ask me that? Because if I already went through multiple securities, and this is not a security just to go through the passport control, because if I got to go to another terminal, from one terminal to another terminal. So anyway, it took for us literally almost two hours to get between the checkpoint again. We're not even outside. We're inside the airport. And then go through passport control. And... And then on, on the top of it, here's the surprise number three or four, whatever you can call it, or five, six, seven. And now the flight has been delayed. Instead of flying at eight o'clock in the morning, I got a flight 9.15. Hopefully that will fly. Um, give you more updates later. But other than that, um, the Air, Air France flight was good, really good. The, the stewardesses, flight attendants, girls. Oh my God, it's like, uh, you like uh, on the podium, all girls is like, I, I, they, they, they aged, but they beautifully aged. They so slim, they skinny, they, I mean, they so, I'm not, you can't say the pretty not pretty because everybody wears the freaking masks, but they so really nice and they care about you. So they, so that was good. The flight was good. The food was sucks. I mean, uh, the dinner was okay, kind of, but the breakfast I couldn't even eat. I just had my coffee because of no good. Um, and here we're in the airport. Um, other than that, so everything is okay. Hopefully, I don't lose my. Uh, I make sure secure my hotel is not lost. I already contacted, and I I want to make sure to my my rental car is not lost. And the guy is like. Or, uh, oh, why don't you contact them? I contact them, I text them, they didn't answer me. I hope I'm gonna arrive, I still have a rental car. We'll see, okay? I'll give you more updates later. Ciao, guys, and I hope you're gonna enjoy later the views and sceneries, and I'm gonna be catching up with the day I lost. Ciao. Okay, we're in Cagliari. And this is our apartment right here.
baby. So here's the, oh man, you guys are gonna love this. This is a burrata. That's Sardinian style. That's not Sicilian style. Sardinian guys. Ooh baby, it's so, so tasty. Looks really good, totally different. We can start our <laughs> interview. All right, so we are in, uh, finally we got to Cagliari. Okay, we are sitting on uh, Villa Sardinia. So it's right by our place where we're staying. It's at the hotel, which is, it's really cute. It's nice and it's cold city. This is called TCL zone. You guys see it everywhere. So people see it here. So it's very easy. follow my script next up is gonna be Monumento Carlo Felice Here's the Monumento Carlo Felice. Okay, here's Monumento Carlo Felice. A statue di Carlo Felice, bronze sculpture of Carlo Felice, King of Sardinia, made in 1830 by Sardinian sculptor Andrea Galassi. Hotel Carlo Felice, Monument Carlo Felice.
Questo è il sacco di ghiata di San Anna. God bless him. This is a Crypto di Santa Restituta, a quarry for limestone blocks, a Phoenician religious site, and an amphora deposit and place of Christian worship and shelter in the Second World War. We are on the way to uh, Chisa di San Michele and this via Restituta and that's where we have to go down to get to San Michele Church and unfortunately it's raining and I don't want to spend time sitting and waiting until rain is over let's go see the place This is the Chisa di San Michele, the one I already went inside and already walked through it. Very interesting. 
I didn't realize, San Via Ospedale. Beautiful church. As I mentioned before, it is a wedding going. Everybody goes inside and here's the bride. Beautiful bride. Piazzetta Santa Restituta. Oh, here's the Crypto di Santa Restituta. All right, here's the Chisai Crypta di Sanificio. As you guys can see now, we're in front of the church Chisa di Sanificio. So this church is located in the medieval Stampaci district and dates back to 430 AD. Right. I'm, um, I'm on my way to Basilica, so uh, I have uh, climbing, climbing to do. Here we go, Mer Mercato Civico Santa Chiara. I'm going to show you guys in a sec. Here we go, Mercato Civico Santa Chiara. And here's the steps. Uh, Ah, here's the Camino Nuova. Oh, let's go check it out. tunnel it's called pedestrian tunnel so if you need to get up here's the lift instead of walking It's 900 kilograms, 12 persons allowance, but unfortunately with the COVID situation there's only one person can be allowed to be here. So here we are. So if you don't want to walk upstairs, so you just take this little elevator. Boom! Nice! There I am. Very nice. And here we are. Wow, looks like a dumpster, but if they can recover this stuff, oh baby, it's so beautiful.
the basilica. Ferry's wheel is working with the lights on. To do ceremonies okay so guys this is a, a office for the, to do the ceremonies of Malta Azora even now in, in Cagliari Galeta what is done to San Leonardo okay Crazy bus, crazy train, choo-choo train goes in the old city of Cagliari. I don't know what's going on, but it looks like they have a lot of fun. Hi guys, it's almost 8 o'clock p.m. Okay, the sunset's coming up on us. People getting crazy. Oh, you, this is like ladies night, guys. Who of the ladies night? Now it's getting quieter. 
All right, Saturday night. Here's the ghetto. This is uh, one of the Jewish ghettos. He used to be living here in Cogliari. And this is the entrance when they just came out. And this explain explain about the ghetto daily Ibrei. That bastion and we're going to Monastery del Sacro Sepulcro. It's already dark. Not getting <laughs> lighter. to downhill. Wow. Pretty step. Here's the nightlife. And here's the Carlo Felice Monumento. Oh wow. Life's happening now. You guys see it, tons of people out. I guess they took a break, whatever the siesta might be, and now they are, woo, mind you. <laughs> 